The game starts with a meeting with your mother, Empress Dowager. She will talk about who you are and what you are going to do. This serves as a tutorial for the basic game mechanism. The game is designed for everyone. You don't have to have any prior knowledge in Chinese history at all to help you get familiar with the historical concept. You're allowed to ask Empress Dowager several questions. For example, you can ask her who is Grand Chancellor and who is Eunuch. If you already know these, you can skip it. The first goal in this game is to survive. There is a meter on the right to help you know the current power balance. In this meter, the Grand Chancellor is at the top, while the Eunuch is at the bottom. You're hanging in the middle. When one side is too powerful, the political player will draw you closer. You need to stay away from both sides. If you get caught by either side, you will face a rebellion. Now the Grand Chancellor is more powerful, so you should think about how you can use the other force to pull you away from him. The second goal in this game is to make preparation towards the war. The story is about an imminent war against the Mongols. They are about to invade your border pretty soon, but some people in the court are sabotaging the preparation process. You need to gain power to make sure the progress can be made towards the war preparation. You need to fill in the bar at the top within five days. When you are ready, let's go to the morning court. You will see two parties dressed in different colors. The party of the Grand Chancellor is dressed in red. The party of the Eunuch is dressed in blue. Every day, both of the parties will present different solutions regarding a certain national issue. Some of them may be helpful for the war preparation, but some of them may be only sabotaging. When making the decision, you can hover over the button to see its potential impact. Obviously, the Unix party is more helpful today. However, this decision can't be carried out since the Grand Chancellor has more supporters in the court. All right. Let's think about a way to get around this. After the court, you can hold a private meeting with either Grand Chancellor or Eunuch. Today, you choose Eunuch because the Grand Chancellor is too powerful right now. Eunuch provides a suggestion to help you attack Grand Chancellor's allies. Let's choose it. It will pull you down. On the next day, you will see more people dressed in blue. Now we have a balance in the court. So you can get supporters and proceed with Unix's decision today. It helps to make progress towards the war. But now you're too close to the Unix. Maybe you should think about meeting Grand Chancellor after the court. The same daily structure will repeat several days more until the end of day five. There are four endings. During the home simulation, if you let the Grand Chancellor get too powerful, he will overthrow you. You will be locked up by the Grand Chancellor. Similarly, if you let the Eunuch get too powerful, he will overthrow you too. You will be murdered by the Eunuch. If you make it to the end of day five, the game will judge whether you have filled in the war preparation bar. If you have, you will go to the good ending. If you haven't, you will lose the war. At the end of each ending. We will tell you which emperor in history has the similar experience as you. It can guide you to an external website to learn more about Chinese history.